All right, Dame. We have done Middle West Dark Pump and Nickel. We've done Middle West Micheloni Reserve. But today we are doing one that we've been saving and the production crew uh, was not happy that we opened up, but it is cast strength month. And today we are doing Middle West Pumpernickel Rye cast strength. Don't listen to the production crew. Never. Ever. Welcome to Beachside Bros. I'm Ken. And I'm Damon. And thank God that the special guest we had last week isn't on right now. We're all recovering. We had to change shirts. <sighs> Good Lord. He made a schwitz. Two Beachside Bros. <laughs> not three. Yeah. Not three. No had, Snowside had, Bros. It was two mm -hmm. production assistants, an extra guest, children, dogs. Too much going on. We had three guys up here. It's only enough room for two. Yeah. Thank God. Anyway, on that note. Triangle table. Yeah. But we did keep the triangle table. Yeah. So that's one good thing. We're After going with that. 40 years of dealing with my cousin, she came up with this idea to turn the table around, and that's made it all worth it. 40 years? You're not supposed to say that, are you? I mean, I've known her. There you go. I'm There's... 44. I mean, I only look like I'm 32 it's or something, an right? imaginary but... finger, which seems to <laughs> pop up in your family all the time. I don't know. I just... Let's be honest. My family doesn't like me. <laughs> All right. Just be, be honest here. So as normal, we uh, go ahead and rip the plastic off. Unlike the last one where I couldn't open it, I had to cut it. Uh, took the plastic off, but we're drinking the first taste. Uh, and we're doing it out of our special Middle West glasses. We do love these guys. I mean, we've done a couple, as Ken said, and these are, this is... All good. They're fantastic. All and we've good. done the Pumpernickel Rye, not the Cast Strength. That was probably one of my top three that we've done. Uh, a little bit about Middle West. They opened in 2008. They started in 2010 uh, commercially. Columbus, Ohio. You guys have been there. I still haven't gotten the invite to go see <laughs> these guys. Still pissed off about it. Restaurants uh, opening. I think it's open now. Yeah, I'm not going to get the invite, so it's fine. 122.4 proof barrel number 1320 <laughs> made in small batches and aged three years. That's so got some love to it. What is it? One oh, it's this is 120 something, one, almost 123 proof. Yeah, 122.4. Hello. Yeah, that's got some love. Nice caramel, uh, yeah. dark caramel color. Um, I mean, and you would expect that they're aged in white American uh, barrels. Opens well, up. White American oak barrels, so you would opens expect up. that color. You yeah. would expect the caramel nose. We've been there again. It's a it's a beautiful place and, and kind of an up and coming neighborhood. Uh, they do their own stuff, which is fantastic. They're super mm. nice uh, on site. Uh, it's opening up nicely, but again, it it's got, good. It's got some gas. There's, yeah. It's there. You know, it's 125, almost 122.5 proof. Yeah, it's gonna get you. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's let's go for it. If I'm not gonna get the invite up to Columbus, and I may as well drink it. I'm bitter. We talk about, he talks about all these, brew, yeah, yeah. all these distilleries he's been to. Well, someone has to go. I mean, you know, the research department's kind of limited. Um, the research if, department if doesn't I, have two I little kids. Get, yeah, if I ask, yeah, I don't have R, two little yeah, kids. R&D. Yeah, yeah, yeah R&D. QC and R&D. Well, every, name me an R&D department that doesn't like watch their costs and plan things strategically. Well, I just don't, uh, you, you don't have two little kids to. I had three, but uh, God they're bless gone you. now. Uh, God bless you. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the guest host from last week's about to make out with one of the dogs over here, so I I don't even know what's going on. It's uh, lots of love here in the old house. What do you think? Ooh. Oh, man, I'm getting berry now all of a sudden. I tell you, you what. Dark berry? Did you get right before you took the, you get You dark get some berry? dark fruit. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's. Tobacco. This thing, That's pure tobacco. This thing, it's ethanol. It's it's a high proof, but it's got some damn good flavor. Like it is good. Dark fruit tobacco. I mean, on the note, and the tobacco carries through. Yeah. Um, agreed. Some pepper. Yeah. Oh, did you did you Ooh, wait, you were good. a baseball player? Did you used to chew tobacco? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so uh, so did I. I grew Levi up in Garrett. Man. Oh, I, Levi. I love Levi Garrett. I was uh, a red man guy. Oh. Yeah. We were chewing tobacco and, and wintergreen. 
Uh, I was chewing in North uh, Carolina at 13. You got um, a late start. And, well, actually 12, <laughs> but didn't tell mom and dad. Um, but yeah, and they would, uh, anyway, it's tobacco is North Carolina. I, chewing tobacco is pretty this. prevalent, but that's in there. That is like heavy duty tobacco. And the mash bill, and we've, we mentioned it with the previous ones we've done with these guys, dark pumpernickel rye, Ohio so soft good. red winter wheat, Sweet yellow corn and two row barley is what this stuff is comprised of. Again, all from that area, all from Ohio, all locally grown and sourced. As it opens up, I mean, you're getting you're getting really dark fruit, uh, some grain, yeah. still proofy. Very proofy, but I'd like it. Like it's, I think this is more proofy this is complex. than the other ones. I, I think done. for a three year old, this is pretty darn complex. I would love to see what these guys would do with this same mash bill and let it go 10 to 12. Mm. I think it would be badass. I think they'd almost have to watch it. I think yeah. that, yeah, I would think that you might have to watch it because it might turn into an oak bomb. Mm. That's true. But, uh, I mean, right now, holy snikes is that good. That dark rye. And it's interesting because I don't typically like the higher proof ones. I like it a little more sweet. But this one, for some reason, the combination the of the sweet. pepper, the leather, the oak, like yeah. it's just, it's a different... And it's got the right amount of caramel sweetness to it. A so. lot of dark, dark, earthy flavors mm. in this. This is something. Um, That's freaking good. Yeah, this is That's really, really something. So let's ruin it with some ice. <laughs> <laughs> There's two ice balls, and one is much bigger than the other. Well, it's not the baseball one. <laughs> Which will, I'll take the big one. You seem to be very sensitive about your balls. So, um, have you ever looked back in your life and wondered where it made that hard left turn? <laughs> Sometimes up here filming, I wonder that. Wolf cream, I might, I might just start. Wolf cream. This might just turn into a counseling session here. Thirteen got the hard Beach left. Boulevard. <laughs> so I met Ken. He was in the condo below me, and uh, loving life, loving life. <laughs> we had some good times there. <laughs> yes, there's too many to recount on, and many that we don't remember. <laughs> I heard somebody the say Viking something on. T yeah, I heard somebody <laughs> say the other the day. The Viking funeral. Yeah, somebody said something about a Viking funeral the other day, and I busted out laughing. We may or may not have had a coffee table. <laughs> and we which may or may not, not have. Which, which I was not part of. We may or may not have doused it in gasoline and then lit it, <laughs> and it floated in the middle of the lake. And the police may or may not. The police may or may, may, or may, or may not, not have come banging on my door, and my friend and I, Thomas, uh, who lives in Minnesota now. Big shout out, Thomas. May or may not have hid and shut all the lights out in the condo so they didn't think that we were there. May or may not have happened. You weren't there for Naked Girl, were you? I don't think you I think you were out of town for Naked yeah, Girl. I think we're out of town. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd already moved by then Naked Girl showed up. There <laughs> was <laughs> There was a story when I brought my mom, my mom and I went to see a, a movie. And oh, my, room, my roommate's uh, yeah, girlfriend at the time was there, and she didn't know that we were coming back, and she was a naked girl. <laughs> she jumped out to my mom and I, jumped out naked. <laughs> hey! And I was like, hey. <laughs> and my mom was like, hey. <laughs> and she was embarrassed, <laughs> and she left. So she put her clothes on. And our, our naked girl was not embarrassed, just knocked on the door and to everyone's door. But anyway, we digress. All right, let's, let's do We've had some good stories, my yeah, friend. Yeah. Try it with ice. Let's yeah, let's, uh, let's ruin it with ice. Man, we've got some damn dark, good history. Dark, man. dark fruit, man. Yeah, it, you know what? Still, it's still got the dark fruit. That stands up. I don't get as much ethanol. Not at all. Which is weird because typically the ice you still get, out. But yeah. you still get the tobacco. You still get the leather. Yeah. You still get the dark fruit. Yeah. Which is way better than we did the we did the Southern Star Paragon and it, it just washed it all away. This is this is standing up. Now again, I probably gave it a little heavier pour, but uh, I think is I think it would stand up regardless. Yeah. All right. 
I mean, it waters it down. It doesn't have the complexity. Mm, I don't. I'm not. I'm not down with the flavor. Uh, it, it doesn't have. It, it just has the ethanol. It doesn't really have. See, I got as just. Much. I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't get the ethanol, but I just get a giant oak punch. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. It's just a giant. This. The. 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 The smell. The nose is there. Mm. But the. 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 The flavors are just a oak punch. Yeah. It's not as good. It's not as bad though. I mean, it's not as good as the neat, but not, it's not, not even terrible. Close. On the ice. Yeah, not yeah, it's not close to the neat, but not terrible. No. Um, I think if you hadn't had the neat and you just got that, you'd be okay. That's fair. Uh, I think That's you'd be fair. okay. All yeah, right, so, Dave. I'm boy, we've done a lot in this episode. <laughs> There's a I, naked I've got women, like, I've got Vikings like things, funerals. I've uh, got like so many things running through this stuff. That, I don't think we should film fire, any more episodes fire, tonight. I think three. <laughs> this is our third one. I think we're good. <laughs> Fireworks in the, in the unit. Oh, yeah. When Flooding. Spain won the World Cup, I, I may or may not have lit bottle rockets in my... In yeah. my if you saw one of our, unit, our earlier episodes pre-World Cup, uh, I wore the Spain jersey that had the fire hole from me holding the bottle rocket. I'm not... I wasn't smart. Still not smart. Oh, remember when uh, well, you didn't, you, know, you went out, you and Allie went out of the country and something went wrong. I mean, and Jim went up there and you hadn't taken your garbage out. That was uh, that was a winner. No, no, well, that's that is not true. Oh, it's absolutely true, my friend. No, there was a time won. I went to Spain before I met Allie, and my dehumidifier backed up, and I had water well, no, that's going into you. That's a different unit. different time. That's a different time. We went up there for just a check. We just had a we therapy session. We, let's, we let's almost, do this. Let's, both of us almost vomited. How that. bad do I suck? It was it was Start awful. Now. We just took it and tossed it out. There. It was awful, awful. How bad do you suck? Well, that's that's a long episode. It's long, long, long. All right, all right. Um, let's wrap this up. <laughs> thank, TBD. Yeah, TBD. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for dealing with us. Thank you for dealing with our therapy session. <laughs> we'll tell more stories as they become relevant. Maybe we won't. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. On that note, I'm gonna say I like this one. I, I agree. Neat. I agree. I, I like it both ways. I I like it more neat. But if I hadn't had it neat, I would. I think I would yeah. like it on the rocks. I agree. Like, subscribe, ring the bell at Beachside Bros Jacks. Thank you as always for watching. All six su subscribers. Easy for me to say. We've gone up. We got two more since the last episode. Yeah, you know. Anyway, cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Happy Pumpernickel. <laughs>